Good morning, everybody. I'm Scott Micklin. We are live at the Four Corners Balloon Rally at Farmington Lake. And my special co-host this morning is none other than the mayor of Farmington, Mayor Nate Duckett, is sitting here with me. Mayor Duckett, it's nice to have you here. Good morning. Mr. Micklin, I wouldn't be anywhere else well, right now here in the city of Farmington. So thank you for inviting me. It's always bet. an honor to join you here. Thank you very much. Great to have you here. Great to have all of our viewers and listeners with us this morning as well. And we've got some great shots to show you. As things get started here at the uh, Four Corners Balloon Rally this morning from Farmington Lake, our friends at Zia Drone Operations are here providing some great footage of uh, some of the balloons that are starting to inflate here on the shores of Farmington Lake. And uh, we think we got about half of the balloons here this morning. That's my understanding, correct. Yeah, we've got half taken off here from Farmington Lake, and then the other half are going to be scattered around town, I believe, at the elementary schools, which is yeah. just kind of canvas this entire community this morning right how about that so lots of balloons um probably wherever you are in the city of farmington um and in the outskirts you might be able to see a balloon here in the skies very soon because they are starting to uh inflate here at our location here at farmington lake and uh We'll try to give you some information about these balloons as they get going, but we see two at least in front of us. A third is starting the uh, inflation process, and uh, we've got some details about all these balloons and some of the other things that are going on with the Four Corners Balloon Rally. We are here at Farmington Lake this morning, but of course, tomorrow and Sunday, we'll be at a different location. Yeah, tomorrow and Sunday, we're going to be at Pedro Vista High School, which is going to give us a new setting, kind of a broader landscape, I think, make it more logistically easy for the balloonists and for viewers alike, but kind of a, a more central maybe area. This is an iconic scene, though, Scott, so right. I, I appreciate the fact that we, we've maintained the Friday morning ascension from Lake Farmington, and then, of course, we'll see, a, a, I don't know how many balloons are going up at PV tomorrow, but probably similar. I would think so, yeah. yeah. So, but we will be there to check it out, certainly, and to uh, to be there as well. And we hope folks will be joining us. We'll be back on Facebook Live in the mornings, of course, weather permitting, Saturday and Sunday. Fingers but crossed. I don't want to jinx it, but it looks like a good weather weekend, so uh, we will see. But we will be there. Yeah, um, two years ago, I think we had two days of ascensions, and then last year, unfortunately, due to the wind, right? Uh, which it doesn't take a whole lot of wind, Scott. You and I were here last right. year on the Friday morning, and, and just a little bit of wind can do a lot of... Uh, can change the trajectory of a lot of balloons. So very true. Very hopeful that windsock stays down. And the big windsock, the yeah. normal windsock, is actually laying flat. They've got another ribbon up here to our right. It looks probably a you know that's a 15 foot ribbon or so. It's yeah, long ribbon. That one is carrying out there. It's showing the wind coming from uh, I guess from the north. Looks like it. That's right. East. Yeah. yeah, north I think. Exactly. Uh, there's a great shot from our, our drone in the sky and seeing some of the balloons that are inflating there. We have what one two. Three, four, five that are starting. There's two others that have been unfolded, unwrapped. I'm trying to get all the names here. Right in front of us, yes. uh, we've got Voyager. That is flown by William Fitzgerald from Lubbock, Texas. Hey. Yeah. And thank you, nice. Country Gas, for your sponsorship of that balloon this morning. Exactly. Lots of sponsors for the balloon rally, of course. And... Uh, that means that they may have provided some crew members to help with these balloons as well and uh, and certainly help make this event possible. And the timing, I have to point out, Mr. Mayor, I think is genius. I don't know who came up with that. Was that you? The timing that? of this event right before the big event in Albuquerque? Well, i got to be honest here, Scott. Um, there's a man here by the name of Doug. Doug is the Doug balloon meister. Mm -hmm. And Doug has been just a very... Um, I don't know, for a few years, he was coming and was advocating for this event to come back to Farmington and said, man, I can make this happen. We can get 25 balloonists. It's going to be amazing. And Doug Lindbergh, good job to you for being persistent and bringing it around. Scott, in an age where insurance and liability takes uh, precedent over many different events, right? there was a little bit of concern on how you know the city would manage that process. But they do these events all over the world. And I thought, surely, if we're able to do this in Pagosa or Durango, or um, they've got one down in Arizona that we went and checked out, why couldn't we do it here in Farmington again? And so Doug geniusly put together the schedule of it. Nice. It's right between Pagosa and Albuquerque for, of course, the big balloon fiesta. Perfect. Uh, just perfect timing. Very good. Well, some of us are old enough to remember when this event happened in, I think, May. It was part of a Memorial Day okay. uh, series of events in Farmington. Um, from here at Farmington Lake, I do recall that, and uh, and uh, it's a great uh, a great event. Nice to see it back on the calendar, again as you mentioned for its what third year, third year now in a row. Yep. And so uh, exciting to see it, and we're seeing uh, the balloons are getting uh, 
ready. They are certainly inflating. I believe uh, we've got all of our pilots almost ready to go. Yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, it looks like here. Right. So that's Beautiful, awesome. colorful balloons. Yeah, they look great. What's great about this event too, Scott, is the way that it brings kind of all the stakeholders here together, whether it's the city, the college, um, you know, everybody's participating, everybody's kind of creating events around it. Right. It makes it fun for, for everyone. Very true. Very true. All right. We are watching the balloons inflate right in front of us. We have a great vantage point here at Farmington Lake and uh, they are getting ready and all the crews are uh, working. And the pilots, of course, they've gotten their you know, pilot briefing earlier this morning to uh, make sure that uh, everything is good weather-wise. And uh, it looks like a beautiful morning for a balloon flight here in Farmington, day one of the Four Corners Balloon Rally here on KSJE. What's great this year, Scott, is we've got a DJ we that they've added to the mix this year here. So, really puts a spin on this on this outdoor event. Oh, we've got yeah, we've got a big one going up here right to our left. Yeah, and I believe that one is uh, that's the one we went to investigate. We went, yep, yes, sir. That is Piano Man. Piano Man. That is piloted by Cody Myers. Thank you, Cody, for being here this morning. Right. We had a great event last night at the Farmington Museum. We had a reception for our pilots, the nice dinner catered by the Chili Pod and uh, Clancy's. Right. And yeah, good turnout there, right? Just that back venue at the museum is just so beautiful. And uh, I went and kind of purviewed the landscape there, the river corridor, looking at where our new wave feature is gonna be built, Scott. I heard that last night, yes. Exciting. Very exciting. exciting. That yes. will be uh, a feature in the, in, literally in the Animus River. Right in the river. Yeah. Yeah, about that? it's gonna be a, a big enhancement Providing people the opportunity for water sports right there, right next to Main Street. We're going to turn that whole lot, those lots around the museum into something really beautiful that this, this town can be proud of. I also saw some of the early construction of the pavilion, I believe, that's going to be right next to the museum building. Correct. Also right there to the west. Yeah, so that fenced area that's just to the kind of southwest of the museum will be that first phase one of the Gateway Park. So you're going to have a 5,200 square foot pavilion going to have the ability to be an indoor outdoor type facility you're gonna have a small amphitheater walkways tear I mean it's it's really going to be beautiful and then on the other side of the museum we'll, you'll see some park amenity type stuff but also we've opened it up for private development to bring in a company business that would like to operate kind of a food entertainment type facility that's our goal anyway so right. we put those letter, letters of interest out there uh, and you'd that, like to see more of a, a riverfront type of a correct a, of a commercial property, I guess, is for lack of a better term. See, yes, we'd love to see a company utilize that space to open up the outdoors facing the river, giving people a chance to just enjoy what we enjoy right now this time of year, just the most perfect evenings uh, probably anywhere in the world. And then it gives you a great overlook, actually, of the activities that will be going on there at the River Wave. Right. That'll be great. And so so when that opens, uh, you and I will be surfing on that? Is that That's what I understand. The goal be? is to get surfboards okay. into the Animus River. And you can see these these types of uh, uh, parks, so to speak, these water parks, all across Colorado, up into Idaho. Actually, it was in Boise, Idaho. They have a giant, a, nice. a really big feature there. Um, a lot more water flowing through that river where they're Maybe. at. But right. what's going to be great about this one, Scott, is it's going to have two two parts of it that go across the river. One will be able to adjust when the water flows are low and kind of dam up and force the water into the other section, which will then just create that ongoing wave for people to surf in. Okay, all right. But you can take a boat, you can take a tube. We're gonna dam up the river actually right there um, in order to have standing water so that you can paddleboard in it, so that you can oh, nice. float around during the during the day. And okay. just a great family environment. But if folks country, actually, as we took a look at some of the places where these pilots are from, many from New Mexico, but uh, we have a lot of others from uh, neighboring states like Arizona and Texas. And, uh, and elsewhere, and a lot of folks that maybe grew up elsewhere and that have relocated to uh, New Mexico. And that's Fred Dinkler. Fred okay. is from Livingston, Texas. All right. I don't know if you know how big these balloons are, Scott, but in cubic feet, this there's 105,000 cubic feet. Okay. 
nice. Get a shot here. Of, uh, and it looks like uh, Fred's got a little bio here. Yep. Our pilot four carried away. As a teenager, he, he was chosen to chase balloons in Iowa in the summer of 1970. And, um, Fred, yeah, looks like he, okay. he stuck with it. All right. 1970. Scott, I wasn't born yet. Well, okay. I can't say the same, but all right. <laughs> but go. he also has, I don't know if you know, he's a pilot. for uh, He's a balloonist, but he also has uh, commercial licenses for lighter than air, rotary wing, and fixed wing wow. aircraft. All right. I love to hear about these pilots, you know. A lot of them have really cool stories, that's true. So this is Voyager we're showing you on our footage right now in front of us. And uh, they are getting ready to lift off, it looks like. They were, uh, they've were they got some passengers in the basket. And the canopy is fully uh, inflated, of course. And so I think they'll be taking off here shortly. Their crews are ready to go. And so we are just waiting for... Yeah. Voyager will be the first balloon off the ground, or it'll be some, another one. I'm trying to find, yes, sir. Some more of these names. I think we've may, maybe mentioned Synchronicity, also here in front of another us, one. piloted by Jeff Heikser from Gallup. Right, right, right. Hopscotch is going up. That is piloted by Martin Addy, Vegwood. Okay. I think you dropped some. There we go. All right, our first balloon. There we go. Is heading up. Let's take a look. The Piano Man. Piano Man balloon. Lifting off. Great crowd out here this morning all around the lake. Yeah, Farmington, look up. Here comes our first balloon from Lake Farmington. There they go. Piano Man is up and away. As the sun rises, first balloon up and away. Mayor, you've taken a ride in a hot air balloon, haven't you? Scott, you know, that's something I've not done. You have not done that? No, I've... Okay. Is that something you'd like to do? Is Scott, I'm not, I'm not... No, I'm, I, I okay. may be moving closer. The more right. I talk to locals who have done it, you know, right. they're... Nate, there's nothing to worry about. I'm like, really? Well, <laughs> that's a little different, you know? I'm a fairly conservative individual, Scott. I like I to understand. pretend that I'm an adventurous, you have, but... You have a family with children. Yeah, I yeah, understand. That's right. Yes, sir. Okay. There you go. It certainly is a unique experience, I have to say. It's uh, Daryl Polston last night <laughs> described it for me, and he's like, Nate, you're standing on terra firma. You're in the basket. You're not going to leave the basket. You're perfectly fine right. in the basket. <laughs> right. <laughs> Although, to be honest, it's a wicker basket, so there's that. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> but, yes. Uh, My trips have been great. I've, I've really enjoyed having the opportunity to go several gone? times. Gosh, I'm trying to think now. Maybe three or four. That's great. You know? Um, but yeah, it, and it's very peaceful, I guess. When you're floating and the, and the burner's not burning and it's just the wind whistling, it's it's very unique. I mean, it's different from being on an airplane because there's that hum of the engines of the airplane. It's so quiet and you're just up there and you're just floating. The wind is taking you. It seems very meditative yeah. the way you describe it. Yeah. Well, it's and certainly then they unique. And you turn on the burner and then you feel the heat on your head. And right. then you're like, oh, <laughs> I'm in a hot air balloon. And this. You know, my grandmother, my grandmother flew in one when she was... Gosh, it was her 85th birthday. Okay. Um, and she's, my grandmother was on one leg for more, more than half her life. She had a blood clot in the 70s and had to amputate a leg. So I figured if my grandmother could do it, I should, I could probably do it, Scott. Probably could do it. Probably could do it, but that's all right. You'll get there. I think you'll get there. We will check. More balloons are inflating right here in front of us, of course, and uh, more will be taking off in the next few moments here uh, from Lake Farmington. <clears throat> it's a beautiful morning, though. The sun is shining. There's New Mexico blue skies. Can't really, beat it. It is a Chamber of Commerce morning as well. Right. That's how I like to frame it. We these. know Jamie Church is listening and watching. I so hope she is. Thanks for your role in this, Jamie Church, and the Chamber of Commerce. Here goes another one, Mr. Mayor. And yes, and that one, I don't... 
was trying to find a picture of it. Okay. Scott's done a great job of putting we, together we a little guide with us, but little guide. I don't think it's that one. See if we can find it. This has got a yeah, lot of black. Yeah, that one and I don't think we've got green a green and blue and some of. chevrons, and it is taking off over the lake. There we go. Oh, that is Voyager. That's the Voyager. That is the Voyager. William Fitzgerald from Lubbock, Texas. Okay. Looks like he's going to do a nice uh, splash and dash. Splash and dash, splash and dash yeah. Okay. Which is uh, just a fun thing to witness if you get a chance to see these balloons dip into the water. Right. I think that, that's why this venue is so special because you know the pilots can take off and then they can dip the basket in the in the water and uh, try their skills and which is what the splash and dash is for folks who are not familiar with that. Kind yeah, of skimming the, the, the bottom of the basket across the surface of the water. And if I remember, I think you told us last year that they used to have competitions out here. Yeah. That's true. It's very true. And I'd I'd love to see this kind of local balloon community here grow and, and get some more ballooning all year long. Right. Um, here in the Four Corners, certainly in Farmington. Sure. That is one of the, the cool things. I know when I visited Albuquerque and get up in the morning and look out the hotel window and see little dots of balloons in the skies, um, it seems like it's almost a year-round thing. Sure. Well, the next weekend, you got the Balloon Fiesta in Albuquerque. Is it the start of that? That's right. But I will be I will be here, Scott, because it's my favorite event. Your Chili in Oktoberfest. My event, Apple right? and Chili Fest Barnaby. downtown. Yeah, that's right. And I'm not sure if you've seen our banners that we've hung up in I downtown. I've seen the downtown banners with the, like, uh, yeah. Thank Bev Taylor for her beautiful artwork. Right. And, Very true. There's our uh, other balloon that's up now. There You can see the other um, balloon there that is kind of skimming across the surface of Farmington Lake. Aren't drones amazing? They really are, right? <laughs> <clears throat> the thing, just a few years ago, to get footage like this, we'd have to fly a helicopter. That's, yeah, very expensive. Right. But, yeah, amazing. And the footage we're getting, the live footage, of course, which is beautiful. A little Can't really take a bad picture here at Farmington. No. Lake. No, it's still amazing to me when I, folks who've not been here, I didn't even know it was over there. You know, right. it's... Just kind of tucked away back here, but it, it's a beautiful scene. It's become a really important amenity for us here in the summer. Um, well, to be true, the, the city has invested a lot here yes. at the lake to make it into a more of a recreational spot um, than it has been in the past. And uh, there's I think campground facilities and the beach, of course, which gets a lot of use during the summer. Um, well, we which wasn't always the case this year. Of course, we re-added the outdoor water park, the aquatic park here. Right. You know, it's a it's a it's affordable, beautiful outdoor entertainment. You know, Very true. It's a dollar it's a dollar to get in at the gate, and it's you know, five dollars for the aqua park. But right, um, you know, all that money for folks, you know, we charge we charge a dollar. It costs a lot more than a dollar per person to maintain the lake, and we of course ask everybody who comes out there to please you know pick up your trash, make sure we're keeping our areas clean. Exactly. It's not just for ourselves; it's for everybody else who utilizes it. That's true. More balloons getting ready to launch here from uh, the shores of Farmington Lake as we are here on day one of the Four Corners Balloon Rally. This is KSJE on the road. We thank you for joining us, everybody. And uh, again, lots of folks. We've got a lot of cars and spectators kind of at the upper parking lot, I guess I would call it, here at, uh, at Farmington Lake. Another balloon getting ready to... Uh, Lift we off. Got, we got a couple balloons doing the splash and dash. Right. So this one I think you mentioned was synchronicity. Is that the synchronicity one is to our left move? here? Yep, that's one. This He's airborne now. Uh, that balloon is Jeff um, Hallitzer from Gallup, New Mexico, piloting that. I hope he's not running into the other balloon. Well, they're just a little little nudge, a little love yeah. tap, as they call it, probably. These guys are right? professionals. Yeah. Uh, Lane looks... Electric is the uh, sponsor. And now he's got going back up. 90,000 cubic feet of uh, hot air. Hot air. Isn't physics amazing? <laughs> it's amazing. 
Uh, exactly. Off they go. And that's Lane Electric is the sponsor of uh, the Synchronicity Balloon that we're showing you right now. Except we got another balloonist pulling into the parking lot here. Nice. Red Rock Balloon. The more the merrier. The more the merrier. Right? Here we go. Back to our drone footage. You can see some, again, just uh, skimming over the surface of Farmington Lake. I want to thank all of our volunteers who've come out this morning right. to help crew these balloons. Or maybe that's a chase. Maybe they're chasing. That may be. That Red Rocks it trailer. Mean, you're looking at these. Each balloon, probably, I don't know, eight people. Yeah. Nine people to help get everything up. And right. Got to unroll it. You got to get your equipment set up, get the basket hooked up. Right. And of course, it's true. Once they launch, right, then the, there's the chase crew mm -hmm. that needs to follow. And uh, wherever they land, of course, the pilots maybe have an idea of where they're going to go, but it's really they're at the mercy of the winds. Uh, they can go up and down in altitude and maybe catch different directions of winds to steer a little bit, as I've been told. Um, but again, most of it is, is pretty dependent on uh, the conditions, which is why the weather is so important when you decide to fly or not to fly. Right. Which is why Nate Duckett's never flown in one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not helping, am I? I'm not helping? Is that what you're saying? There's just a lot of variables up there that there you have no control over. Well, that's true. Oh, but, see. you know. I wish I had the name of that one. It's a pretty one. It's got a pink top with a white right around the middle and turquoise uh, on the bottom. Going, the, the balloon off to the left of your screen. That might be. I don't know. Hopscotch looks like they've got people getting in the basket, getting a little safety meeting going. Good, good, right. We have a couple balloons that we weren't able we to. We just kindly ask you not to jump out when the balloon is in the air. Right. Well, rule, number, rule number one. Yep, that's very <laughs> true. Exactly. I'm wondering if that's Sunday aloft. It looks kind of like a Sunday, but I don't know. You know, it wouldn't be a bad guess. This one that's kind of got a pink top and a white middle and a turquoise I if, bottom. I bet I could look up on the, on the old intranets. Well, I tried that, Mr. Mayor. We couldn't find it. Some of these are a little... Maybe they're so new they haven't made the internet yet. I don't know. But that one is going up right now. I got a picture sent to us from Craig Nelson, who's on the other side of the lake here. Oh, nice. Him and his wife walked over here this morning from their home. And Very nice. Getting a different perspective. From the, yeah, from the west side of the lake. Nice. So there's another balloon that's doing a little splash and dash in front of us here. Beautiful shot, as we can see. I think just about all of our balloons have launched, Mr. Mayor. One, just the one in front of us that's still on the ground, but not for long. Not for long. No, it takes probably 45 minutes or so, I guess, to get them all enrolled and up in the air. Yeah. Well, and they're all, you know, letting the other pilots go or getting their crew ready. Watching here as these balloons get ready to launch. Maybe a good outdoor economic business here. Just do ballooning and it's take true. people up in the balloons. That'd be great. Be a great niche to fill. I'd love to see a skydiving company also would operate. You do, now, here. would you do that? I took Barbie to do that actually. My wife. Okay. For her 40th birthday. It's over to but Moab. Did you do that? Did you jump out? I on the ground for. Oh, okay. both feet on the ground. All right. Yeah. But she I, did it. I clapped. She did. Okay. Yeah, that was one of her bucket list items. Good for her. Not one of my bucket list items. But now, that's one thing that I don't know if I would do. She could not wait. Okay. The video of it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, why would you leave a perfectly good airplane? That's what I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. But some people do it. Well, I'll tell you, it's really neat to watch those guys. Um, it's like riding a roller coaster. I mean, it, they get everybody right. strapped in. You get your parachute on. You fly. You jump. They, they all jump down, they run over, they get a new parachute, they put the new passenger in the plane, they fly. I mean, it's all day long just jumping out of planes. Right. Again, And no, nobody's dying every day from it, so it must not no, be No, yeah, it must it's be all pretty very safe. safe. Um, yes. Evan Pilling, our outdoor recreation uh, director, yes. is here. Evan says he wants to um, bungee jump out of a balloon. Oh. He is well, an adventurist. Can we get him, what, well, let's get him up there. 
Yeah, make it happen for him. What happened? We would film that. I'm pretty sure we could let somebody utilize Lake Farmington for a place to do bungee jumping over the lake. Right? That'd be fun. It would be. I'm trying to encourage entrepreneurship. I, I, Scott, I appreciate you that. Know, and I'd like to recognize our friends at the Quality Center for Business for helping local business, local business owners get right. their feet off the ground. Here's our final balloon, it looks like. There goes Taking Hopscotch. to the air. The Hopscotch balloon. Launching right in front of our drone. Thanks for that. That was nice. Yeah, that's a beautiful shot. Yeah. All right. Next year, Scott is going to alphabetize the balloons on the pages. <laughs> Take a look at that shot. Look at all these balloons in the air over Farmington Lake. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. I'm, I'm looking at the horizon to see if I can see any other ones pop up. Right. Not yet. From behind a hill. Not that we can see. I think you mentioned hopscotches from Edgewood, New Mexico. And here's the pilot who's originally from Bristol, England. Wow. Got his license in 1995. This is Martin 80, Addy, pardon me. Moved to the U.S. in 1995 and attending local rallies. Hopscotch balloon. So... Well, we Great saw earlier shot. this week that the Chick-fil-A balloon was flying around town also. They were here, I heard. That's right. Exactly. A couple of years ago, they were flying over College Boulevard, dropping parachutes of chicken sandwiches oh, well, out, out to the kids who were hit heights in Mesa, nice. Mesa Verde. Right. I bet that was popular. I, You know, I can't imagine it wouldn't be. Right. As popular as Chick-fil-A is. Right. Exactly. So... There you go. I heard that they were in town, but there you go. There's another shot from the ground from where we are here. You can see one of the crews in front of us. That's from the Voyager balloon um, and the other ones that are kind of floating over the lake. But nice. Now, how far do you think they, they're going to end up traveling? I'm trying to think. Good question. So we, they're not moving too fast, which no. is probably good wind-wise, right? We've had them. I know they've landed over at uh, San Juan Country Club. And right. And gone back up. I've seen them land at Country Club Elementary. Also over at the soccer fields at the college. Sure. Hard to know where they're going to go. I think it was two years ago, after I left here with you, I drove to my house on Foothills, and uh, one flew right over my house, and it was Rob hey. Mays. Oh, well, there you go. And I thought, how oh, interesting. There's my city manager flying above me. Yeah. He was just uh, checking up on you, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then that evening we'll be at the Civic Center downtown where I think Doug Lindmer mentioned they're going to have five balloons doing the balloon glow. On the plaza there at the Civic front, yep. the nice new Beautiful plaza landscape. at the Civic Center. Yeah. So come down for that. I'm sure we'll have food and music. And right. Tonight at the college we've got food and music. Food I would and music at too. the college. And yeah, exactly. That's true. And there's an afterglow concert at the college tonight as well. And I think tomorrow, after the glow, of course, you can go check out the uh, Heather McGoy um, Children's Theater doing uh, their great Rock of Ages show. Right? I do want to encourage people to come out and support the Heather McConaughey uh, groups. They are they do such a fantastic production. My daughter had the opportunity to, to be in the uh, Legally Blonde okay. yeah, right. version a few years ago. Nice. And, just so well done, and these kids put a lot into these these performances. It's worth your time and money to come to the Civic Center, enjoy a nice evening, yeah. and check out some live performances. Well, and I know the, 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 and this one is, of course, all local kids, mm -hmm. and they've been working really hard for a few weeks now, rehearsing and getting ready, singing and dancing. So, some great music in that show too. If I do say Rock so of myself, Ages is a great yeah. That's just a great soundtrack. So, it's something I believe this community should get get behind and support. Very much so. And there are many who do. That's right. Many who do. The arts are important to us. You know, we, we're we really trying downtown and in that, that district to create that entertainment art district. And I just appreciate everybody who's been willing to put forth their own money at their own risk uh, to join into this, this vision and, and really making it happen. Right. Well, again, uh, kudos to the city for its commitment because I know there's some funding that goes in to support that program and uh, to keep the tickets affordable so families can go out and enjoy a show. I know there have been numerous times that a, a, a performer has come to Farmington and uh, been able to enjoy it, whereas if I'd gone to maybe another venue in a larger city, 
the ticket would have been twice or three times as much sure. as I paid here in Farmington. So I appreciate uh, the fact that the tickets are uh, affordable for families to be able to go out and enjoy the arts in Farmington. No, I think it's very important. You know, the San Juan Symphony does a great job. Um, of course, and everything Randy's doing at the Civic Center in support of live performances is, is definitely moving us in the right direction. Jamie Church just sent me a picture from her patio, looks okay. like, and she's, she's seen the, the balloons. Path, yeah, apparently. the balloons coming over right. uh, the horizon from Lake Farmington. Thank you, Jamie Church. Very good. There you go. Well, there's a you know, few. this is a you know, for us and kind of way we've seen what the balloon rally kind of represents is the welcoming in a fall it's the kickoff of a lot of really fun events happening throughout the the next few weeks of course next week we mentioned earlier the chili cook-off the uh, apple chili fest downtown right lots built around next weekend also the road apple rally mountain bike race the the nation's longest continuous operating mountain bike race will be here next weekend true we're hoping for 300 riders i hope this year we continue to okay. see that participation increase very good i have to mention the uh Aztec Highland Games next was, weekend as well, the oh Celtic man. Music Festival in Aztec. And they're going to have, they're doing world championships actually this with year uh, with true. some of their yeah. some of their events. And I, I tell people, if you've never gone out to watch the Scottish Games, you, you're you missing out. Yeah. Um, I thought the first year we were walking by while they were throwing these giant metal balls and one swung off the hammer and <laughs> hit the fence right where I was standing, you know, it, right. it made my heart you know, pitter-patter, Scott. So yeah. they tossed big logs and they throw things I mean it is it is a lot of fun Lots of course of big and heavy things the music and the food the Scottish eggs and all the traditional Highland food I think is really awesome that's true yeah it's a great another another great event that is both Saturday and Sunday of next weekend so well, you could do it all you could you, get to everything so I actually have done a mayor's table yeah where I went to every event on the on the first weekend of October okay uh, Hannah and I my daughter she went with me and we right. filmed ourselves at, and that's when they had the chocolate affair going on yeah. at the museum as well so we hit you know Chili Fest the chocolate affair Highland Games there Road Apple Rally okay we did all of them. wow it's busy 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 well it looks like um, all of our balloons have launched and the crews are getting ready to go and uh, chase down the uh, the balloons Still one synchronicity is the one that I remember that's going into a little dip at Farmington Lake, maybe. Yep. Splash and dash. The other ones are, uh, you know, gaining in altitude, and uh, they may be in for a longer trip. Looks like it. Taking a look, but we're sharing some footage from our from our drone, and uh, but that is the action here. I'm hoping we can see some balloons come over the horizon here from our uh, elementary school. So hopefully people are seeing them out there. If you're seeing them, yeah, send me a picture. Right, or add it to our KSJE Facebook page or our live stream, and we will share those too. But uh, some of our beautiful. fantastic parks and recreation crew walking over here. Beautiful morning, and certainly lots going on. So. Well, very good, Mayor. I appreciate you being here this morning. Well, Scott, thank you guys for the production and all the effort that you put into coming out and sharing these moments with our community. It's just a, just important and it's beautiful and appreciate all you guys do. Well, thank you. And uh, thanks to our sponsors of the Sound the Road um, productions because without them, we couldn't do these things, of course, in San Juan College, the support and our friends at Zia Drone Operations for this great footage. Um, they've been flying all morning uh, for us and with us, and we really appreciate that. And it's been some great images. <coughs> we shared them with you here at KSJE. But very good. Well, we will be back on the air, of course, uh, this evening from San Juan College, this afternoon for the Balloon Glow, uh, beginning probably around 5 o'clock. Uh, as the sun goes down, uh, the glows will start, and uh, we'll be there to provide live coverage, too coming up tonight, uh, beginning at 5 p.m. from the Bloom Glow at San Juan College. And then tomorrow morning, I'll be back with another different co-host tomorrow morning from Pieter Vista High School. And so uh, we will see how that goes. And, of course, hopefully we have the same exact great weather um, tomorrow. So thank you, everyone, for joining us this morning. This is KSJE On the Road, and we'll see you later tonight from San Juan College.
you in person. I require your assistance. You must go to the crime scene and examine it with a fresh eye. Test Scotland Yard's findings. Trust the evidence, not the theories. Collect the data and record your observations in your notebooks. Hurry along now. The game's afoot. KSJE On the Road is supported by Kaiser Millennium Levitt Insurance Agency with local offices in Farmington and Durango. Kaiser Millennium Levitt Insurance provides their clients a consultative, customized approach for discovering and mitigating risk. Their four-step comprehensive approach includes commercial insurance, employee benefits, personal insurance, and proactive safety and HR tools for growth-oriented businesses. Kaiser Millennium Levitt Insurance Agency. There are days when the weight of the world is heavy on your shoulders. But there is something you should know. You are never alone. There are beautiful people in this world who will walk with you when you feel off course, guide you when you need it most. They are there for you. And they're closer than you think. KSJE On the Road is supported by San Juan County, building a stronger community since 1887. San Juan County includes the San Juan County Sheriff's Office, San Juan County Fire and Rescue, San Juan County Office of Emergency Management, and Riverview Golf Course in Kirtland. The mission of San Juan County is to provide responsible public services through the direction of the County Commission, while striving to be professional, courteous, and committed to improving the quality of life for citizens that it serves. Learn more at sjcounty.net. I love my job. I make a difference in someone's life today. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Please help me, my I'm child. Sending the paramedics to help you to stay on the ward. The payoff to know that my career provides someone with the help they need when they need it. That's why I do what I do. KSJE On the Road is supported by Four Corners Economic Development, supporting and building economically vibrant businesses and communities in the Four Corners region through effective partnerships. Foresaid is a public-private partnership that unites county and municipal governments with its member businesses and other resource partners to build the intentional economic future of San Juan County. Learn more about the ways Foresaid is helping existing businesses thrive and grow and attracting new businesses to the community at the number 4 cornersed.com. At San Juan County Partnership, our mission is a thriving and healthy community. We strive to achieve this through educating our youth about eating healthy, moving every day, and the harmful effects of alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs. We educate adults about access to health care, the dangers of polysubstance use, and drinking and driving. We work hard to keep families housed and to help those without permanent shelter have a place to call home. We are here for you. We are San Juan County Partnership. <laughs> 